Hello fellow survivors, we are on episode 7, wow, episodes are flying by. It is insane how many lurkers, lurker bots I have on Twitch. Here's an idea. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she just killed that plague heart, so, okay, she's... Um, should we get a leader? Warlord. It says leading. Builder. Warlord. Sheriff. Traitor. Traitor. So let's take Jeff, get him up to, I don't know if we should use the trade depot or not. Hey, food is always going to be a problem. I won't be able to grow a big garden. I'll have to get utilities if I don't get the bigger garden. And I don't know what my plans for this community are going to be. If I'm going to make this a long-term community. Seems like there's always a patch that comes out. And... So I don't know. But last episode, we got that. We didn't get it from the quest. We got it from a trader. I'll just go ahead and take that. And I really don't need a an extra weapon anymore. And we need to start cleaning out some infestations. So let's get our infestation cleaners. Uh, that's an issue. Base. Uh, what's this cost me? 80 parts for fuel. I can do that for nine. Heck yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Oh. Easy peasy. So this guy can go clear those out. He's powerhouse, so he could drop kick a, a feral. So it gives me a little extra feral protection. Really, I wouldn't say it gives you extra feral protection. It gives you, I mean, you know how to drop kick. I, I guess it gives you total feral protection, uh, except for multiples. Or you know, if uh, I guess if you get overwhelmed and you can't actually drop kick and then execute, so that could be a problem. Well, I think maybe I see the. Reload this. Alright, so now there's just six of these guys. One, two, two. Oh, guys, a little tricksy. as a slow reaction zombie but I guess zombies will have slow reactions mysterious broadcast okay what could that be they could all be dead it's a new community could be the crossbow killer one how did I need to get where I could see the chat alright there we go Um, no real need to kill them, I don't guess. 
Let's just cut through this yard here, go around. This person needs wit. No, that was a different person that needed wits. This guy keep craw. All right, it's too annoying. All right, I guess I'm good. Twenty-three. Ooh, fuel's a little low. Uh, Tubby out there probably needs to die. difference in doing a little zombie killing and killing a play card those are two radically different things this guy did his fighting yet Jeff sword play and he has a sword oh my god What was that explosion at the end? Alright. Ugh, come on. How long is it going to last? Or is it going to explode when I walk up there again? I'm not going to lie. That was kind of was kind of BS. Alright. In case this is the crossbow killer and I need to end someone's life in a hurry, I'm going to grab that uh, eternal guard thingy majiggy. Uh, this. Now that's quite a load. That is quite a load. My loads are special. I mean, seriously, who put that tree there? Oh, why would you put a tree right there in front of the little path you take? Zombies planted it, I bet. They're smarter than you give them credit for. You gotta watch out for play. Um, they dead? She's not dead. Hello. I knew you'd agree. The brick column house. Well, they are making a racket. The brick column house, Suzo. I don't like anyone named Suzo already. House is getting up there. Oh, look at 
at you behind the tree. It's a good hiding spot. Is that a head? That's a skull. What's her problem? Hey, if your name is Suzo, I am. Go. Is she coming? Yeah, is she coming? Oh, she's coming. Still coming? Yeah, you're slow, Suzo. I, I guess you did say you were hurt. But my gosh, keep up. It's only your life. There have been occasions where the, just this having only two seats has been a problem. But what do you do? It's such a good vehicle. It handles so well. Goes over all terrain really well. Spins around really well. Poke. Done and done. You're home now. You really saved my biscuit there. You be careful. God. So I got four more scent blocks. I almost don't need the biochem station anymore. I'm really not sure how many uh, play cards there are, but. That gives us like, what, eight maybe? Seven or eight? It's a pretty good start. So, let's see. Didn't end up needing that. Put that in. We these usually need three plague samples, I think. also need to look at getting some food. I always got to keep on top of so we're going to take what? Let's take three. I don't know if they need two or three. And what was the other thing? The watchful bystanders. Killing a plague heart. Where is this? Who are the watchful bystanders? And put the door back on. Stupid ferals. Is 
my mechanic done yet? All right, I got two of them now. And got to blow a fuel for another gas. All right, best way to get there. Probably cut across here. Take the bridge. Whoa. Got a little squirrely there. So we'll slide through here. Hang a lefty. I had somebody asked me one time if not having the mini map, how do I get around the map? I mean, maps aren't super complicated. And once you've done an entire playthrough on a map, you should pretty much know every building, I would think. <clears throat> Especially me. I try to loot every single building I, in the past I have anyway. Wait a minute. Is she at Whitney Field? No. She is at the house with the barn. Wait, is this a she? Yoli? I'm not sure. This would be the house, right? Wait a minute, you guys set up shop right next to a play cart? Like, right next door to a play cart? That seems like a pretty iffy judgment call to me. Hello. Hello. And now they're like, hey, we need plague samples for a cure. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. You live right next to a play cart. Well. Alright, these guys need the plague sample. And they're going to need a play cart. Oh, I could loot in here. Thank you, guys. Don't just You're very kind. Oh, with other allies. What are they giving me? Neighborhood threat reduction. That's pretty good. That's it. Sledgehammer. Is it heavy? Decent. Uh, the best weapon, heavy weapon for a play card, I guess, is the tank beetle hammer or something like that. Uh, the mamba. Or person, I think even with without swordplay, I think the mom is the best. That um, Persian meal club thing is also pretty excellent. This is it, huh? Just two things. Two terrible items. All right. Well, what do you got? Let's learn about her. She's cooking. So, let's not learn about you. Bax. Well, I like the name. I do not like your fifth skill. And who's our other one? We got Yoli, Bax, and... Cheryl. The person with the normal name. Um, she's already leveled up seven. Yeah, she has no bonuses there. She's a blank slate. That's a possibility, I guess. Well, we're gonna want to take this, and we're gonna want to take those. And I think I'm gonna come back and buy that energy drink. It's because we're not going to have a cook, I don't think. Put those in. Put that in. 
So I actually kind of need energy drinks. And 18 seems pretty reasonable. By the smell, there's either a slaughterhouse or a plague heart nearby. I'm betting it's the latter. Okay, it's a good bet. Strong betting skills. Now, if I go kill this plague heart for these people, you think it's going to be the plague heart right next to them? Maybe I should gear up and try to get two with one cent bot. Man, it's a big ask. I, I, I'm be honest. Oh, we got the three uh, ferals. Quests are just coming too fast. We have 10 cent locks, so I guess I will go do it. Let's switch over to the Mamba. I guess we'll. F oh, I don't have any more bolts. So I'll have to do 33. One cent block ought to do it, I think. Oh, I need distractions. God, I forgot the most important thing. Although, I don't know with these people, they're going to want to help and they're going to screw everything up and make it more difficult. Just like people in real life. Very realistic. Except in real life, I could tell him the plan, and I could just probably say, look, I'll go do it. You guys just stay here. If I need you, I'll come get you. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work with them. That is true. Also good advice. I like this good advice they're giving.
starting to think this is going to be a non-stop. Alright. Another one. This is gonna go with these people. Hey, come on in. Who's this? Marisol. Your scouts came across the way. Did they? Your scouts came across that? Wow. No more of that. Your scouts are good. Here for a job. Time to do it. Say there's got to be a better way to kill it, but trust me, there really isn't. Chick gets out of the way, I can light these guys up. Really, you'll want to move, lady. Okay. While you're out there, you should keep in mind you're awesome. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I will keep that in mind, Marisol. And that's just how easy play cards are. Barely an inconvenience. Fireworks are good distractions. Wait a minute, can I take this? I can. We just finished building another outpost. Huh. If we put a little work That's in handy. this place, it could be even more useful. Yeah, it's right next to them too. So let's uh it's 
20 rounds. I have to think about that. Anyway, let's sell her these sanitary napkins. Trade. Is that what they're called? Okay. Sanitary so. pads. And we can put that in there, that in there. I think we're good with that and that and that for now. I can definitely put one of those away. That's right here. I can just grab more. All right, what else are we going to do? A lot of stuff in here. Seven things to loot plus the play card. Some more meds. Generator. I got all I can get. Man, you can't complain about this place. Wait, let's get a cool knife. Nothing worse than getting to the end of the game and still having a kitchen knife on you. Let's put that there. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that gun or not. The guns seem like they're almost always worth more as parts. Anyway. So, 8 pin slot backpack's pretty good. I'm going to have to make more bolts, which means I'm going to have to take the power. with that so Damn. that is a lot of zombies out there problem solved all right what was i doing do i have stuff i need to sell Um, I think I s will hold Zombie off for a bit. For I can definitely sell one generator, right? Eh, maybe not. Well, probably so. I won't get that quest twice, right? I didn't think. Yeah, man. Last night, uh, ugh. That'll question why you play HOTS. <laughs> that was... Which I usually don't play Saturday night, so... I guess there was a reason. I didn't live this long just to lay down and die here! Keep fighting! Trade... Um... That's actually pretty good value. I'm going to trade them that. Anytime you can get more parts out of something and you spend influence, it's a good deal if you're planning on breaking them down for parts. So Now, what was the other thing I had? Stolen meds. Ugh. Joaquin stash. All right, so I guess we're going home. This guy now is a hero, though, right? And so he could be our leader. He's a psychiatrist. He's strong. And he's got personal strength. He wasn't. Wait. I, I guess I did start the... Yeah, he was one of my original characters. So yeah, he could be leader. Oh wait, I'll make him leader right here. Jeff. Welcome to leadership, Jeff. Good name, Jeff. Solid name. Uh, I tell you what, Jeff. Let's go ahead and add in all the fuel here. Thing 
things we can loot here. One more thing I want to check on Jeff. Jeff, 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 Jeff. He needs wits. Shooting. Wow, it's not often you finish. Uh... Everything off before shooting. Well, I didn't finish everything off. That was it. <sighs> well, nice to have a crappy talent there. Ah, uh, I just can't help the fast loot. And something in here. Oh, loot faster. A hatchet. Yay. I'd almost rather have the book. Until we take out that nearby plague heart, this place can't really be secure. Well, I gotta find a blast furnace. I got nothing here. We all need whiskey, man. <laughs> I would hate to bring my uh, terrible luck on top of him. He's worked so hard to get back. All right. <clears throat> uh, hey, Feral. Am I gonna have to kill him? Wait, does this guy have powerhouse? He does. Bring it on, Feral. Yep, come on. Feral, stay alert. Didn't think it was gonna be like that, did you? I, I gotta say, it's kind of busted, to be honest. Uh, it's it's too easy. And it's so valuable that it makes almost any other skill. It's so valuable at this level, I should say, that it makes any other skill kind of obsolete. They're allies, right? Oh, they're giving me extra beds, so I don't even have to worry about beds. Ammo income. All right, so I guess I need to be Joaquin and go finish his stash. I think this is the one where the guy shoots at me. I'm gonna have to kill a human. No play card, I'm a plague sample left behind. Run, 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 run. Easy play example. If you pick them all up, then when you need them later, you'll have them. Ooh, explode, explode. Triple feral? One. Are we at one? Come on. I gotta be able to get out of the car without getting crushed. Keen anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Food stuff. Oh, I was gonna say, I just got food, didn't I? I didn't put it in. Thanks to Mr. Farrell bugging me. 
Easy. Easy. Easy plague heart kill. Easy. Barrels. Uh, repairing that's going to be an issue. Let's give him a different sword. The sweet skull sword is pretty good. So you're the leader. We'll let you have that. And you're going to protect the place with... I guess that. And Joaquin's up. Yep, boy. T-Dog didn't live too far from here. I know how to solve. Travel to the home of T-Dog, Joaquin's old supplier. I guess it's not Joaquin, it's Jaquan. And I know where he used to live. Might be yeah, it's survival. Zombie fighting. Yeah, I don't know exactly what you would call it. Base building. A lot of different parts to it. Um, I don't know, for a while there, this game was getting me a lot more viewers and hots and subscribers, but not so much lately. So I've been turning these into YouTube videos to see if people want to watch on YouTube. So far it's been a resounding no. Yeah, right behind the play cart. That's nice. But I'm playing the game anyway. It doesn't really cost me anything to turn them into a video. Tiny bit of time. But I don't even edit. I had to edit one, but for the most part, I don't do any editing or anything. It's just a straight, straight playthrough, so it doesn't really take any of my time away from Twitch or the family. Ugh. What's that doing here? Oh, that's T Dog's house. Oh, I am hearing it. Where are you? Way down there. I have an outpost not far from there. Mate, it's time to get my hands dirty. Good luck. Oh, yeah, there's got to be zombies in here. where you get a note that says somebody took it. Travel to his campsite. And where's his campsite? Oh, his campsite's also way down there. That's going to be an issue. Do I even have the gas to make it all the way there? Well, it sure would be nice if there was some gas right here. Oh, I know where there is some gas. A lot of notes, so. Nobody heard that, huh? All right. What time are we at? 44. Try to keep these to an hour. So this is probably my last little mission here. We're at 44, 45 minutes. Gas grenades. Oh. Oh, there's a gas can right there. That's probably parts in this little can. God, I've played this game way too much. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, in the storyline here, T Dog was his supplier. Worked in a restaurant with T Dog. I'm probably going to end up having to leave those notes. And old T Dog kept his stash in a barn. You got one stash from there. And. Anyway, this is somebody who stole T Dog's drug supply. So it's not T Dog we're going to run into, it's somebody who stole his drugs so we're kind of going to steal t-dogs drugs from the guy who stole t-dogs drugs but we're the good guys so that other guy who stole t-dogs drugs even though we stole some of t-dogs drugs earlier he's the bad guy does that make sense Yeah, that's Jeff for you. You know, that's just the way Jeff is. Jeff's just that kind of person. He's strong, but he's a psychiatrist. He's really into pathology, getting samples out of zombies somehow. I'm not sure what makes one zombie give a sample and another one not. But here's the problem with this T Dog location. Getting down there in a car is a problem. But this is the one car who could probably get me down there. This one can actually go over rocks. For some reason, even though this is an open air car, bullets just don't seem to be able to make it through. Prayers, yeah, see, I'm pretty mad at this guy who killed T Dog. Wait a minute, that's a zombie. Alright. I don't know if this is a human here or not, uh, just in case. Oh, maybe I don't have to kill a human. Oh, is this T Dog? Alright, find the stash of stolen opportunity stole from T Dog. Is that still here? Hmm. If I were a stash of drugs. Hey, I'll take that. Uh, I can't take that. Oh, it's in here. Look in the camper. That's obviously where the stash of drugs are. What was the item in here? I could take all this now. I had to leave all this earlier. I ran out of space. All right, one bandage isn't worth anything. Let's sell them. Yeah, now I gotta drive out of here. Always a problem, man. Always a problem. What time are we at? Fifty. And shh. All right, is this full? Almost. Return to base and deposit the stash of stolen prescription drugs. All right. Easy enough, man. Yeah. 
don't know. Maybe this is maybe there's another step to this. It seems like I had to kill a human at one point. But I don't know. Sometimes I don't finish this mission all the way to the end. Wow, there's a lot of zombies. Where my plague samples that'll be. Boop, boop, boop. Look at this. Master zombie fighter. Whoops. Best weapon in the game, your car. Alright, well, I gotta drop something. A knife. I'll just throw a knife right in the middle of the road. I'm sure that'll never be an issue for anyone. Wait a minute. Is there. What is this? Self storage. But that's it. Oh, well, I don't have time to loot it at the moment. But I'm just playing on my own. I'm not worried about trying to stay busy. I try to loot every item in the game, <laughs> every location. I'm a pack rat in these games. But in the end, your community just disappears. You get to keep your uh, people who live and put them in a special place, but you only keep 50. Like. But then the game's too easy if you start with characters who are already all the way leveled up and full of good gear, and so I never use them. I've never used a legacy survivor. My game's just not hard enough. I know people say they've made it hard now, but it doesn't seem... Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Distracted me, man. Anyway, people say it's hard now. It doesn't seem any harder to me. It seems like the same exact game. They made it a little bit longer. Which is exactly what they didn't need to do. They needed to make it harder. And... Shorter. All right. If not, sh well, I, there's so much repetitive stuff to it. That's that's really the problem. Like once you killed one play cart, like killing your twentieth one isn't any different than killing your first. Really, oh, it gets a little harder. I guess there's more zombies that spawn. This last play cart I killed was super easy. Add in, add in, add in, add in. Let's be responsible about how we use it, people. Don't worry. You get first pick. Oh, yuck. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, there's only... Look, there's only, what, five things. Food, meds, ammo, materials, and fuel. I don't know why she's so upset about meds. It's one of the only five things you can get in this world that'll help your uh, community. But she seems so against meds. Guarantee you she's not going to be against meds when she turns into a zombie or when she gets plagued. Alright, let's give him a lighter backpack. Let's give him a gun to protect the base. And 55 minutes is close. Alright. Today's episode, we did. What did we do? We traveled down there and did a quest. Oh, we took some plague samples. We did a quest for these guys. They wanted this.
play card that was in this building killed. We killed that. Super easy. Didn't barely an inconvenience. Um, and then we took a meds outpost there. Then we Oh yeah, we went to get some meds from old uh, T-Bone up here. No survivors, no, man, yeah, we killed one plague heart. That's pretty much it. Oh, we did a quest that got us even more scent blocks. So we're up to nine. Uh, there might be, like these two are probably close enough together. You can kill two with one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. So we, we have enough play cards to maybe kill everyone we know about, right? I mean, enough scent blocks to maybe kill every play card we see on the map. We're getting close to our... Oh, we have a 1,000. So next time, we will head over to the landmark and claim it. Use all our influence, and that will give us power. Can either spend labor for power, parts for power, or influence. Wait a minute. You don't have to spend anything if you take a regular power plant. How is this better? I mean, it's less expensive, it's only a thousand. What is the other? This costs two thousand, and there's a daily fuel cost. All right, so fuel cost. Yeah. Anyway, we'll look at that next time. Oh, I'm gonna go take it just because it's new, never been taken before. Moving time from Hogan. Yeah. All right, man. Appreciate everybody watching episode seven, and we'll see you for episode eight.